Hey everybody, what's up? Welcome back to my channel. It's me, Ashley. I hope everyone's having a good day. I am here to make another video for my lovely 139 followers that I'm very appreciative of. Thank you. Okay. Now, the video is about this lady that I had to drag for filth on the internet now i am a very peaceful peaceful person okay uh, unless you you get me agitated and then i will cuss you out but it i have grown grown tremendously and it, it takes me a minute okay before i cuss you out but she she was just stupid okay teresa crowley with your cowardly ass but that's just Take some backstory, okay? I'm on the internet. Me, me, me. Minding my own business. That's what I was doing. Okay? And I'm on a, a guy's page that I follow. I'm on Facebook. His name is Lurking Live. His video, his his page used to be called Ratchet um, Videos. Bury the Ratchet Videos or something like that. But he's just changed his name like in the last two weeks. So it's like Xavier or something. I'm not really sure. And, um... She, um, I'm on there watching that, and the the video with the Garcia, the little white chick with her last name Garcia, which is kind of like, last name Garcia, unless she married, Garcia should be a hint to some people, but anyway, um, I don't know her first name, I can't remember, but she made a video, and, but Jesus, she has some braids in her hair, okay, and that sent the world out of their mother effing mind, okay? Particularly black women and black men were commenting her and calling her white bay and you know come you know I don't I don't know what it did. It, it they were just angry. Some of the women on there I got what they were saying. Okay. Now the majority of the women on there we're just being hateful and wishing death upon this woman. Death. Okay? Now, really? You that insecure that a white chick you don't even know nothing about then got some braids in her hair and you tripping? Did you pay for her hair? Is you paying her rent? Are you laying her the pipe? You ain't doing none of that. So, but what did you mess up about that for? So, my thing was, she had made a rebuttal video. Which ended up being 20 minutes long. That was too damn long for me. I didn't watch the whole video. But what I did watch, I got, I think I about, got about seven minutes of it. And she was explaining away, like, you know, I apologize. I wasn't trying to upset the world. But, you know, she was like, the reasons I wear my hair like this is because it's hot as hell where I live in the summertime. So I'll get my hair braided up like this. And then I have a friend that owns a, a hair business and she's black. And it, it, it's cute on me. And the hairstyle was cute on her. So what was the problem? And then, you know, she's supporting a friend business. And then she teaches African American studies. So it also is something she dabbles in because of the culture and her education purposes okay so now to me i'm sitting up there looking like po thing po thing so i wrote under the post i said girl honey why you pay dust to these hoes you don't you don't Oh, not nam one of them hoes an explanation of why you wear your hair like that. Let's say cutting you a check, a pan for your hairdo. Honey, pay them hoes dust. Don't say nothing to them. I said I, the most I would have done is giving them a 30-second video of me laughing my ass off and then putting that wood and see what they do. Okay? Because if y'all gonna get y'all feathers ruffled because a white chick got some hair, some braids in her hair, how insecure are you? You know, so that's what I wrote, okay? That that was it. I didn't direct that towards nobody, but them hating assholes, and I was talking to her, 
Okay. And then I had put down there, I had said to the dude, I was like, Larry, which is someone I had talked to personally. I had donated to him when he went through a hard time. And I was like, Larry, if you want your page to grow, bro, you're going to have to allow us to share your videos. Okay. Cause he always talked about how he wants his page to grow, but we can't share his videos. If you allow us to share your videos, then my friends will see it. Then she, the actual girl, posted up the video we see that you shared her video then her friends may start following you my friends may start following you one of my friends may post up one of her friends may repost then you collecting followers bruh i was like we didn't had this conversation like for the fifth time now when you won't get it that's what i'm like i had tagged him and said that to him at the end of the paragraph well here come teresa crowley okay a woman old enough to be my damn mama or grandma, okay? Here she come up. Silly Ashley Smith, you're so ignorant. You're so stupid with your dumb self. You sit here and praise a white girl for some shit we started with your dumb ass. I was like, let me, let me go get my wallet. Pull out my stuff. I'm like, hey, there my name, my social security. My mom and daddy name is, yeah, where the fuck Teresa Carly ain't nowhere in none of my life. Did she call me down about three, four times? I got time to play with this bitch tonight. Let, let me get at her ass. So I, I wrote back and I cussed her ass the fuck out. Yes, I did. I called her dumb. I called her stupid. I called her a plethora of things, okay? Because it was like, oh, you don't know me for a day in your life. So first of all, I'm a very educated woman, okay? Okay, very educated, okay? And very successful. So, bitch, where do you come off with telling me I'm dumb? And how the hell was I praising this girl by telling her, don't pay no dust to no females, you don't even know? Like... So I was like, don't get your old ass on here being insecure because you ain't got no man. And these black men were sitting up there calling her white bait and you insecure about your dusty ass. That's your problem. That's not my problem. So here she comes back. Ooh, I got you big girl mad. You're so mad. I got you shook. In all caps. With your writing a novel ass. I didn't even read all the novels. So I was like, bitch, I can't take these hoes that lie. If you gonna get into an internet beef, at least keep the shit real. So, and then she gonna tag the dude, Larry, in there. Talking about some, he doesn't share his videos because of people like you. Bitch, that don't even make sense. So I was like, girl, first of all, let's, let's point out your lie, okay? First of all, you read my novel, you dumb hoe, because, you know, the part about Larry was at the very end, the very last paragraph. So for you to know about that part, bitch, you had to read the whole novel, you dumb idiot. Like, if you're going to lie, at least be good uh, be good at that shit, you idiot. Like, I can't stand dumb hoes like that. And then you that old and you that dumb. Like, and then send up there spelling words like BLK, PPL. Like, I get that, but bitch, you was old. Spell the real words. Okay, that's why my shit was a novel. Because I'm sitting up there trying to educate your dumb ass, Teresa Crowley. And then, she gonna rebuttal back again with basically regurgitating the same shit I just said to her. You can't come better than that. You gotta... I had, because I had called a gangster, because I had told her, I was like, girl, don't make me drag you all up and down this damn internet all night long playing with your ass because... You like you just ignorant at this point. Don't call nobody dumb about their name that you don't know. You clearly tag me. You clearly know my name is Ashley. So that's what you need to be calling me. Don't call me dumb. So then, next thing you know, here she go with <laughs> baby gangster. Roll up. I live in Virginia, some somewhere in Virginia. So I'm like, oh my gosh, bitch. I said I got a four year old nephew that know better than to put what state in 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 city he live in you i was like you embarrassing ass dumb ass grandma i would be so embarrassed if i was your grandchild that i was like what the what is wrong with you you idiot ah she would keep on oh you big man you you i got you shook 
Ooh, I got you after I had said. I was like, why are you so pressed on a white girl? Is it because you ain't got no man? Is it because you ain't got no man, girl? Is it because them black men was telling that girl she was cute? Is that what it was? Because that's what it was. You know that's what it was. Because you ain't getting no pipe. That's what that was. So, I clearly had told her that. And then she had kept tagging Larry. I was like, damn, is you trying to fuck Larry? Because what is you keep tagging him? He ain't got nothing to do with this. What is you? Like, why are you calling out for his attention? And since you keep tagging him, did you help him out when he was going through that hard time? And he asked for people to help him. And he set up that PayPal. Did you help him? Because I helped him. I, had, I, I, I at least had a conversations with this man, personal conversations with this man, since you sitting up there tagging the hell out of him, sitting up here thinking you're going to get some notoriety or some shit from him from this. So, then there she go. I gave it a little line, nose emojis, a little F you emoji, the laughing my ass off emoji with the little tears with the face cocked back because it was like ho at this point i'm laughing at you and i didn't call my friend reading this shit to her like she was like really? like she's how old i'm like bitch old okay old okay our mama old no you know mama ain't old but like she's too old to be doing that shit so the the last thing i had thought i was like girl look I had gave her a list of things. I said, tell me, to, please point out where I praised this girl. Please point out, because she talking about the type of braids she had was micro braids. This shit wasn't even micro braids, okay? I can't remember the name of the braids because I got to see the picture to think of it. I, shoot, but they were not micro braids. They were um, a different type of braid. Um, and it's like, bitch, she know more about african-american studies because she teaches it then your dumb ass do but you sitting up here hating on her and they're gonna sit there and try to talk about some i got a white auntie and mixed nephews and nieces and this bitch i don't give a fuck about your family you ain't gotta be telling me all that i give two fucks about any of that with your dumb ass quit giving information about your family trying to prove a point that you ain't even got ho you just stupid Teresa crowley okay now, this is where it just goes retarded. Because I was like, girl, I got a job to be at in the morning, you know, because I have employees to watch over, you know, since I'm an educated woman and a boss and you is obviously dumb. Because at first, I ain't going to lie, I was just calling you stupid and dumb and a bitch and all that because you had pissed me off. Because, like, what, what you call it? Well, she didn't piss me off, but it was just like, you ain't had to call. You could have had a difference of opinion without calling me dumb and stupid and ignorant and all of that because i didn't agree with you we didn't have to agree but you could have came respectfully but you didn't so that's what you got your ass cussed out about so when i had started corresponding with my friend and telling her i said you know what baby girl i said thank you i said thank you for this silly ass example i said because i got a friend that teaches um about internet bullying i said and i'm gonna email this whole little situation to her and let her class de-escalate this and they record their little class and then they post it up on youtube and then you know it it, it teaches people about trolling and bullying and things like that and they are really 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 good at it she has made a lot of progress with those kids and you know so i was like i was like thank you okay thank you baby girl because i'm gonna go send this so then when my friend started corresponding talking about she couldn't find the video guess what this bitch did got shook and erased everything she wrote so i was like oh wait a minute now now you didn't call me every time I called you a baby gangster. Then here you come back calling me a base, baby gangster. I give you the finger emoji, you give me the finger emoji. I tell you press now, you tell me I'm pressed. You, you say I'm shook. I ain't never been shook, but you write everything in caps. So the point of the story is, it's like if you gonna talk all that shit on on the internet, and then somebody drag your ass for filth, and you can't throw shade to to save your damn life, just bow out. Stop staying there looking dumb. And then damn sure don't wake your ass up in the morning and get scared because you know somebody gonna make a video about your dumb ass Teresa Crowley. That's her Facebook name if you want to go look her dumb ass up and tell her this video exists. Don't get up and erase that shit in the morning because you shook and you scared. 
Because, you know, you got your ass dragged all night and you ain't know how to handle it with your old ass somebody damn grandma. And I sit there and told her ass, I would be so embarrassed. I'm so glad my mother got home training, sitting up here with your embarrassing ass. Just, I would just be like, grandma, what the fuck is you doing? I wouldn't say fuck, but grandma, what the fuck is you doing? Like, what is wrong with you, grandma? I'm sitting up here acting a fool on Facebook. That's what I would have been thinking in my head, but I would have said that politely. Had my grandma not have home training, but she do. So, that's the story of that. Teresa Crowley, thank you for sharing your time with me. I just had to get that off my chest because I didn't like that hoe. But I will see you on my next video. Peace.